everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Girls in Real Life. Uh, today we are going to be talking everything about social media. Ooh, and you're here with your guests, Charlie and... Shannon! Right, let's jump in. Um, well, I feel like as young people, instant people are like, oh, social media, you must know everything about it, you're <laughs> on every site, um, but... I don't know. Um, I used to be on every site. This is... I was literally just thinking this. When social media first blew up, mm. like, what what year were we maybe in at school? Like, year seven, year eight? I think I was a bit older. But, like, I remember, like... Because when I first went to secondary school, right, mm. didn't have anything. Like, I didn't even know I have a phone. Yeah. And then everyone was like, what's your MSN? What's your Facebook? Yeah, and then, like, that. everyone then had everything. So I literally had Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat... I never had Tumblr. I did for a bit. I did jump on the Pinterest bandwagon. I'm still yeah. on that now. Are you still on I'm it? I'm still on that. Oh, I went yeah. off it for a bit, but mm. now I'm back on it. But now, I literally hate them. Same. <laughs> I love Instagram, and I love Pinterest, and I love TikTok. Mm. Oh, <laughs> TikTok. That's a recent one for you, your obsession. I am obsessed. Literally just in a day, you've become the biggest TikTok supporter. Yeah, I lay in bed last night for three hours, watching TikTok videos. I don't I don't get how. Could you not just watch YouTube instead? Oh, like, yeah, I also do love I YouTube. Do. But then on YouTube, I only watch the same two people. So yeah, when same. I've run out of con- content, what am I going to watch? <laughs> but I'm obsessed with TikTok. It's not even good, in my opinion. No. I, also, you will not be catching me dead. <laughs> Making a TikTok. Would you not record one, even if, you know, there was, like, a big outcry for, like, you to do your own? I don't know, because they're... What makes you want to watch it? I don't know, like, I like the dancing element. I'm currently doing it. Right. (laughs) I'm doing the the little dancing. But, like, I don't have rhythm, so that's not (laughs) not a good one for me. Too (laughs) wide. Yeah, literally. All these, these, it's normally as well, it's all these, like, attractive people. Yeah. And it's because they've got abs... Yeah. And they're just doing it topless. So it's just natural for yeah. them to move. Them See, I'm not really selling them. it, am I? Like, to you. It's no, not, I don't I mean, even know why I was on it. To me, TikTok is just a meme that's got out of control. Um, yeah. And I know I suggested it to one of my friends who's an influencer. Um, and she became obsessed with it afterwards. And now she's promoting everything on TikTok. But me personally, I, I see it as like a platform for children or a platform for gimmicks there are a lot of young growing. people on there like i would say the obviously there are like people older like our age well, making yeah, videos and stuff like you know like montana yeah. off love island she's got one she's quite Natch, funny on it Natch. but there are like a lot of young people on it i would say like bracket like maybe like 15 16 to yeah, like 19 20 yeah ish i would say but that's my current obsession. But to be fair, what's interesting is I saw a news article about a woman using TikTok to talk about domestic violence. And it was, um, it oh, was, okay. it was yeah, a yeah. makeup tutorial, but she was covered in bruises. Oh my God, I've seen one similar. Um, and it was to be like, the end message was like, you know, don't hide it if you're suffering, you know, talk to someone in yeah. these charities. And I thought something like that's really interesting. I if suppose, a young yeah. Sees that. Like that's kind of good because it's like here for the humour, but it's also like letting people talk about ongoing issues that you probably not that they're taboo, but people don't tend to bring them up. Maybe I you say, know, it's not like you usually glamorise in like yeah, completely opposite to Instagram. Yeah, which is all glamorised. Everyone's on holiday all the time with their six packs. <laughs> And they're mean, perf- like eight <laughs> yeah, and they're perfect looking partners. Yeah, and they're at, like you know they're in the Bahamas on the pig beach. Just Have you casual, seen that? Yes. Oh when they're God. all there on the pig beach swimming with the pigs. No. You know. To, to be fair, it's stuff like that that is. Um, I haven't deleted Instagram, but I've deleted yeah. the app from my phone. My sister and my brother have also done that. And I'm thinking, well, to be mm-hmm. fair, I said to myself for January. I'm having a sort of digital detox as much as I can. Oh, that's such a good idea, so honestly. So I've deleted Snapchat. Yeah. Um, Instagram. Oh, me too, yeah. Um, I'd delete Twitter if I could, but I need it for Uni. purposes. Um, same, same with, with Facebook. Facebook, yeah. I'd delete it if I could, but I can't. I um, I had a Tumblr, don't really go on it, but I've sort of deleted most of that. And I've just limited a lot of what I'm doing on social media to try and stop myself going to the habit of just being attached to my phone. Yeah, no, I do. Yeah, I, I think it's such a good idea. 
I am quite like a... I am obsessed with my phone, though, yeah. to be honest. I think everyone is. It's just... It's a natural habit. But I don't think it's just young people. I was on the train um, coming back from Manchester Sunday. Um, and I was, like, in the table of four. Brad, oh, yeah. Brad was opposite. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was an old man sat next to me. And then there was a young... I think it was, like, his grandson or something opposite him. Yeah. They were both not even talking to each other. They were attached to their phone. Oh, my God. And that's the old, so sad. I looked at the old Have a conversation. Man, <laughs> I looked at the old man. And he was doing the thing of just scrolling between apps. Oh, so my God. So he wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> yeah. He was on just his phone filling for the time. Same. Yeah. And I was like, your grandson's over there. Talk to each other. Oh, do you know, though? I'm I'm that person. <laughs> I, I purposely take a book with me on the train and on public transport to be like, huh, I'm I'm reading a book on, oh, on my no. phone. <laughs> but then it does stop me from just aimlessly scrolling yeah. on apps. Like, I could... I think once I was on Instagram and I was mm. just so... I think I was just in that Instagram trance. Yeah. And I was just scrolling. And I think I was... what I, I clicked it on a video originally and I mm. scrolled to the next one. I got to the end of the feed. God, I didn't even know that was possible. Neither did I. I thought it was just continuous. Jesus. But I was just so transfixed in this... Oh, another one. I think it was RuPaul videos. Oh, was it? From Drag Race. See, I've... I've okay. When I, I see one, I'm like, oh, that. another one. <laughs> well, because it leads on to a different and different thing. Um, but, yeah, I can see how it happens on Instagram. To be fair, I, I don't get how people can do it on Facebook. Because I'm the sort oh, of person Facebook, who... Facebook, Facebook. If I'm scrolling, I'll do it for, like, a minute... And then I'll be so depressed, or I'll be so bored, and I'm like, what am I doing with my life? Yeah. I'll turn it off, and I'm just like, if, if I could use Facebook Messenger and not have to deal with the whole Facebook thing. And like, yeah. If we didn't I think you can things, do that. Oh, can I swear you? you can have Messenger. Like, you still have to have a Facebook account, but you don't need to you have Facebook there t- to, like, be on Messenger. Oh, like, you just be, have to be able to log in. So I wonder, when obviously, when we finish uni... I'm thinking of doing something like that. Yeah. To have Messenger to see, like, in contact with people, but to actually delete Facebook, because I I hate Facebook. I'm... I do. I didn't have it for about three years, mm. and it was just like... I think when you have them there all the time and you can check, you think, oh, my God, I can't live without these apps on my phone. Mm. And then I got rid of it, and I was like, I'm not even missing Facebook. Yeah. And it's... then I, when I deleted Twitter originally, like, I didn't miss Twitter. Yeah. And now I've deleted Snapchat, and I don't miss Snapchat. Apart mm. from, you know, that filter where it's like, like with a big <laughs> smile, <Yeah. laughs> that one, and it makes you, like, really, like, mouthy. Yeah. I like that one. That was funny. <laughs> the only thing I miss can about not, Snapchat. Can you not get them on Instagram? Probably, yeah. They're, they're obsessed they're with like, filters at the minute, and they're, like, the freckle ones and stuff. Yeah, I try... Well, that's probably one of the reasons why I deleted Instagram, because I'd always feel, like, a pressure to take a picture with, like, a filler or take a picture with something. And it'd be, like, the fourth or fifth picture I, I took mm. that would become the picture I posted. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just like, what kind of person does that? Like? See, that's not that bad. I was watching this um, girl on YouTube, and she was saying that um, she takes about, what, 100-ish, maybe even more photos before she gets the one for the feed. No, I couldn't. If I, if I, if I did that, I'd feel like there's something wrong with me mentally. Like, yeah, genuine, that must like, be such a drain on your mental health, honestly. Like, I have to get the perfect picture. Well, yeah, to be fair, that's um, the reason why... To be fair, I thought that would be the reason why I deleted Instagram, thinking about it. Like, oh, I'll have, like, a digital detox, be best for my mental health. But it's turned out that I just didn't want to get in the habit of constantly going back to Instagram. Yeah. Like you say, scrolling through videos and, like... It's something that just gets boring and it drags a little bit too much and then, like... You see something else, you see something else. Yeah. You feel a pressure to post, and you've got this. And mm-hmm. To be fair, I know you like Instagram. Yeah, like it's probably I'm a big platform, Instagram fiend. I don't know. For me, it's one of my least favourite platforms. I think... Facebook, I, obviously, at the top. Oh, yeah, 100%, because it's so irritating. It's just my mum sharing memes <laughs> about, I don't even know, puppies normally or something. I don't mind that. I'm going to say, you my know, family's the usually puppy like political, um, usually something like ranting about one political side, another person ranting about something like yeah. immigration or something. Brexit, something... Oh, Brexit something on Facebook. That's, <laughs> something that's like, you know, don't hurt other people, just keep it to yourself and just do you, but, yeah. you know, don't... 
Yeah, no, Facebook is irritating. But then I, I do, I, I think I like Instagram. Like, obviously, there are, like, the negatives of it. Like, there are people that I really like looking at their posts. Mm. And, like, there's people that I've got their notifications turned on. Because I'm like, oh, I want to oh, see really? what you're wearing. Like, you know, because I, I just like to see... Um, also, it's like sometimes I do. It, I have it on for my sister to be like, like first like me, Aww, hello. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> um, also, because she deletes them so quick sometimes. Oh right. So I just I'm having a nosy basically. Aww. But then like, I d- I do get the like the envy like you know if someone's like you know you can add the highlights, and it's yeah, yeah. all people's holidays. Yeah. And they've like, you can see that in the same year they've been to LA, then they've been to, I don't know, Paris and Dubai and da 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 da. Yeah. All in one year. And you're like, right, I didn't go away this year. And that makes me feel like poo. <laughs> like, I know it's not the be all and end all, but I feel like you can make so many easy comparisons mm. and be like, oh, they've been on four trips already and it's only June. <laughs> yeah, but like. See, I thought that. Um, one of my friends, um, who I'm not really talking to that much anymore, an mm. old uni friend. Yeah. Um, I think at least. I can't remember if it was uni or college, but I'm, I'm past that age now. Um, but she would go away, like, three, four times a year. Oh, my God. Um, the dream. And she'd go, like, to, like, maybe, like, Barcelona one, like, month, and then yeah. the month it'd be Paris, the other month it'd be, like, Berlin, or she'd go to all these different places. Like, little city breaks. Post loads of pictures. But when you'd actually speak to her, she's like, I'm broke. She's like, I'm in debt. She's like... She's just know. doing it for the gram. She's doing it for the oh, gram. Oh, that's kind of sad. And, like, she'd be like, oh, I owe my dad, like, £500. And I owe my mum, like, £1,000. And, like, I owe all this money. And I'm like, you know, you're enjoying life. And I know, you know, YOLO, you live once. Mm. But, like, it's to an extent, like, I'm not going to take out all my money in my savings and be like, you know what, I'm going yeah. to America and going on I think, holiday. Yeah, I think as well, like, um, so obviously we did the social media module at yeah. uni this term, and like I think it's that principle as well, like, you shouldn't go on holiday to take pictures of it, to put on your feed. Definitely. Like, I know it's cool, like, I went to Amsterdam with my sister last summer, and, you know, I was, you know, putting a few stories up, whatever. Yeah. But, like, some people, like, if you click on, like, their holiday highlight, it is, like about, what, 20, 30 mm. stories filled for one holiday. And it's like, you shouldn't be going somewhere just to get content to put it on your feed. You should go because you want to, mm. you know, submerge yourself, I suppose. To be fair, though, this is probably really hypocritical. When I went Here to we go. Tokyo last year... <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> um, I went to Tokyo for two weeks. Yeah. Um, and I went to loads of different places. Mm. Like, there's so many different, like, completely different areas. And Tokyo has always been, like, the dream place for me. And, like, yeah. Brad did it as, like, an anniversary present. Um, I was taking pictures of a lot there. Yeah. But not to the extent of, like... Takes over the holiday. Thing, mm. But, like, we would, we'd be walking down the street and I'd see, like, the KFC guy, the, the colonel. Oh, yeah. And he'd be, like, samurai gear. <laughs> so I'd be, like... <laughs> oh, my God, pictures, slap. Like, <laughs> I'm, like, oh, my God. And then I'd go to another place and be, like, a vending machine where you put, like basically like a tenner equivalent mm. in and you can get an iphone oh my god that's so get. cool so I'd be like, there'd be so many like culturally different things i was like oh my god i need yeah. to take a picture i need to show people this exists i took a picture of a toilet that lifted up by itself yeah but i would want to see that that's was, cool so my um when i was not on the toilet Instagram, thing it's well, a bit weird <laughs> no it was really i did like a video of it lifted up and then it was like playing music and there was like oh my really god cool no stuff. way and you can like hide your pee with waterfalls and stuff <laughs> oh um, whilst you're on the toilet no that was yeah. what <laughs> no i before i went on the toilet oh you can put right okay i understand so i was being a bit slow there. i was gonna say no, was, oh. not me you see my legs in it um <laughs> but when i had instagram my story for tokyo was literally like it must have been like 80 different stories yeah. posted yeah um but i did limit the the general pictures i took yeah like I, you know i probably did like three posts from tokyo but the mm. stories would be constant because i'd go somewhere and i'd see like oh my god there's like a cola banana or something <laughs> and i'd be like what the hell and it looks so weird yeah but like but then I guess that's completely different, I suppose, to, like, doing scenic or, like, cultural shock things, like yeah. taking pictures. And then there's the people, oh, my God, this irritates me, that have a picture in every bikini. Oh, yeah. They taken on this trip. 
And like I've I've legit seen people right take another outfit. Say like they went on a boat day. Yeah. Right. They take another outfit with them for the boat. Yeah, on the boat trip, so they can have two pics. Oh my god. In two different outfits to put on their pic on their Instagram. God, that's ridiculous. And I'm like, oh my god. I just. I really? Mean, just, like, have a pic and then embrace that you're on this beautiful yacht in where whatever you're doing, like, in Marbella. Like, I mean, whatever. To be fair, when I um, went to Spain a few... It must be a few years ago now, and I... Oh, sorry. Playing with the Velcro. <laughs> um, and I went on a um, boat trip. Um, and, like, me and my friend took our phones to, like, take pictures of all yeah. this beautiful stuff. Um, I was, like, in a, like, bikini top mm-hmm. with, like... I don't know, some shorts or whatever. Um, but I wasn't taking that many pictures. To be fair, though, my phone did fall in the ocean. And I had no. to quickly grab it. And my phone died the entire holiday. Um, so the pictures I did have, like, <laughs> It's like the earth being like, you can't take any more pics. <laughs> but since then, I was like, okay, I'm not taking pictures like that anymore. Yeah. But I can't believe people would get two outfits for a boat ride. Yeah. That's so pathetic. Or, like, they go to the beach and they change because, you know, want to get another snap oh, put God, on the so feed. Fe- to be fair... If I'm in a hot country, I'd be so hot and sweaty. I'm just like, I don't want to change. Into oh, my God. Thing. How do people go abroad, right? Like, I remember I went to Mexico with my family. Mm. There was no way I was going to be able to get a bikini pic. Oh, God, no. Because it was 40 degrees. My yeah. hair was frizzy. I, I had no it. makeup on. I was burnt. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> that was not the right time to be getting a pic. Well, to be fair, when um, we were in Japan, um, the first few days... It was ridiculously hot. Mm. We were in, like, an open part of Tokyo where there's, like, loads of, like, castles or something. Mm. I can't remember the name. Um, and Brad's ginger. <laughs> um, I was, like, in a bit pink. And, like, <laughs> his head was pink. Oh, no. He was sunburnt. He was, like, burnt to a crisp the first day, but really red. I was burnt. And, Imagine like, if he was, like, trying to take a pic of me. <laughs> the rest of no, the holiday. No, it's too hot. I barely took pictures of us <laughs> yeah. because we were just so burned. <laughs> like we are a mess as a we couple. Just, we weren't even like brown. We were just so red and like hot and sweaty. Yeah. Because everywhere in Japan was so hot, but obviously they don't really like tattoos. So I had. Oh really? So I had to cover up as well. Most no, of the I time. did not know that. Um, what is that like a culture thing? Well, they associated with the yakuza. Um, so oh. there's bathhouses that don't let you in with tattoos. No um, way. And there's certain places that will refuse you. So I couldn't wear shorts because I've got tattoos on my legs. And I had to have my sleeves down. Oh, my God. So I'd get on the train and I'd be like, <sighs> like I'm going to pass out. <laughs> and I was like, i got to be taking pictures of this. I didn't know that. That's uh, that's insane. But they, I think they are trying to change it because the Olympics are soon. Yeah. And obviously, you know. The most, influx of tourists. Most like of the world has tattoos now. Yeah, it's so, people can just do what they want. So yeah. if they've got a tattoo, they've got a tattoo. Well, to be fair, when we were there, um, they have this thing where you know, tall ginger people are like an anomaly. So the amount of people who'd stare at Brad, he's oh, like six foot four, six foot five, tall ginger man standing out amongst loads of Japanese crowds. <laughs> yeah. And people just like stare at him and they're like, what is this person? <laughs> oh, bless him. How did we, how did we get onto that? We're talking about Instagram and... Tangent, me. right, anyway. Um, that's <laughs> social media. <laughs> but I think it's interesting how... Um, Obviously, like, people associate Instagram with, like, poor mental health. It's very um, visual and photo-based, obviously. Mm. But so is Pinterest. Yeah, I think I... And yet that, I don't associate Well, I think with that. With Pinterest, they see it as more inspirational. Yeah. Um, so they see it as, like, your mood board and this is what you want to aspire to. All these are things that, you know, give you inspiration mm. in your daily life, but... With Instagram, people see it and they think, oh, it's just hot models promoting stuff. Yeah. I do think... I don't I think, love Pinterest. I don't think it's Instagram that gives really poor mental health. I think it's... How you interpret what you're seeing. And I think it's the addictiveness as yeah. well. Do you, have, do you have Pinterest? Do you like Pinterest? I, do you use Pinterest? I have it. I don't use it very often. Oh, I, I did it. when I was at college. Mm. Um, and I'd be like, oh, my God, like actors and like people I admire. I'd put yeah. on boards and stuff. Um, but then I sort of grew out of it and I matured onto because tumblr is quite similar yeah so through college i had to use a bit of tumblr but then i ended up getting out of tumblr when i got to uni and not really doing much with it mm. i don't even know how it's still going to be fair like, see i i love pinterest like i have so many boards yeah so many how long have you had it 
not long. Like, I, I went through a phase, actually, where I really disliked Instagram and was only using Pinterest. Like, I had Instagram still on my phone, but I was just gravitating. Like, you know when you open your phone and you're like, right, which app am I going on first? It was always Pinterest. Ooh. So I've got one. What have I got? I've got a dog one. I like looking at, like, puppies and stuff. Have you got a board for... Yeah, I've got a whole board of puppies. Aww. Like, I thought like there's this one cute pic in it with a Dalmatian with a heart nose. Like, Aww. a spot. It was always so cute. Is that what you look at, like, if you're feeling down on Yeah, I'll have, like, a cheeky brow. Like, look through. And Aww. then, like, there's one where, like, I find, like, memes of Kim Kardashian. <laughs> you know, like, have you seen the one where she's got, like, muscles? Yeah. Like, stuff like that. It just makes <laughs> me laugh. And then what else have I got? I've got, like, a little nails one. I've got I've got one for the girls in real life. Oh, Find our little inspo pics. I'm like, oh, yep. Yeah. That can go on the gram at some point. Oh, we might have to link that to our um, page. For yeah, I literally, like, I always add something. I'm like, oh, that's funny. Um, and then what else have I got? I've got loads. Like, I've got a little tattoo one. Mm. I've got one for like, if I was like planning a trip, like I was originally planning to go to Bali this summer. Mm. So I like started pinning things for Bali. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just like it. Aww. I think it's fun. To be fair, it's something... I can see why people enjoy it, and I think if I had the time to do it all... To be if, pinning things. If I was commuting like you, yeah, and you have some time on the train, yeah. to just be like, oh, I'll pin this. You know, it's mm. something more interesting compared to, you know, boring Facebook. Yeah. And like, to be fair, I think Twitter's quite boring. I see Twitter, for me, is a strange one, because I used to have it and only follow people I knew. So, like, mm. friends or people I knew of or, like, celebrities, right? And I feel like Twitter has this thing where, like, this stigma where everyone goes there to moan. Like, yeah. you know where people are like, everyone on Instagram is happy, everyone on Twitter is miserable. Yeah. Yeah. I used to feel like that with Twitter, but then I got it back for uni, mm. and now I only follow, like, journalism things yeah. or, like, people on our course yeah. or, like, other podcasts or, you know, things like that. And I actually don't mind it. Yeah, I mean... Because I, I see it as, like, a work tool rather than a place where people are moaning. Well, that's a, that's what I feel about it now. Because similar to you, I follow, like, the journalism feeds, finding out where, like, jobs are, finding out, like, contacts, and obviously, like... It's good for, like, you. work experience or like, jobs and it stuff like that. It is for people, like, putting up stuff and, like, yeah. to be the first port of call. Um, but other than that... Like, I don't think I use Twitter for anything else apart from no. looking for, like, jobs or, like, contacts. That's all I see it for. The thing I have used it for recently is because I'm on that Love Island, Winter Love Island hype. Oh, no. And I'm watching it every day, even oh, though I don't no. like it. Why? And I don't know. Why, I don't, why am I on TikTok, Charlie? I don't know. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and I've, like, been looking at the hashtag on the breaks. Right. Because people do make some funny memes. Yeah. And, like, things on there. It's quite funny. God. I have done that. Or, like, um, I'm into, like, these two uh, TV series at the moment. And one's on a Tuesday and one's on a Friday. And me and my mum watch them because we're, you know, sad. Yeah. What, um, what are they? Um, one on a Tuesday is called White House Farm. Right. It's based on a true story about this man that kills his family. It's really intense. Ooh. And then the one on a Friday is called Dead Water Fell. And it's about... This other lady, this is fictional, I think. This lady who appears that she's, like, killed herself. Mm. No, she set fire to her house, and it turns out that the husband maybe is in on it, and he drugged them. It's just... Oh, is it based on a true story? I don't know if it is. I'm not sure if it's fiction or what. But I'll, like, have a look to see what other people's opinions are. Or, like, you know, when Sex Education Season 2 came out, Mm. I was, like, looking at what people were thinking of it. Mm. So I think it's good for that. But other than that, I don't really yeah i feel like go that. in the realm but i feel like if i go a day where i haven't checked it i feel like i'm I, there's a fear of missing out yeah that i've missed a possible post or like a placement opportunity like a placement or something opportunity oh my god yeah like, you know something big so i feel like i do have a pressure to check it like once or twice or more. same it's the one that i probably check the most yeah for, for professional purposes i think that when we uh, like finish and graduate in august september um, I feel like that will also be like LinkedIn. Yeah. Because you know, there's like there's even an advert now on TV being like, "I found my job through LinkedIn." Do you have LinkedIn? Oh yeah. You I have, have LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Yeah. Do you have the app downloaded on your phone? Yeah. 
Yeah. And I do, I don't like scroll and like like people's stuff because I'm just, I don't feel like I'm submerged in it yet. But I yeah. feel like as soon as we finish uni this year, That'll I'm going to, it's going to be the platform, you know? I've thought that. Is that like, considered social media? Social media? I think it technically is. See, this platform? is platform. Somebody um, I went to uni with um, told me that, oh, I hate Facebook, I hate Facebook, I hate all this. Because we were just generally speaking about it. But then she's always scrolling through LinkedIn. Ah, oh, interesting. Because you can scroll in, there's like news yeah. articles. It's similar to Facebook, but it's not. It's like a professional Facebook. platform. Um, but yeah, yeah, it looks quite similar to Facebook, doesn't it? Yeah, like, so obviously you can message people, you can like. Add skills and. Skills, add stuff, you can add like groups and you can add like bits and bobs. Yeah. So it has like the same elements, but a more professional version. Mm. Um. But I feel like if you're doing that on LinkedIn, like scrolling and like liking through posts, liking through news stories, liking through this, watching videos, it's like inspirational videos and yeah. stuff. How is that different to Facebook? Yeah. It's still the scrolling and I think, you know, if it's for your job, fair yeah. enough. But Despite the opportunities, it is still the same concept of I am scrolling on this thing that is sort of not really doing anything with my time. Yeah. It's... Yeah. I feel like... Oh, it's so toxic, really. I know. It's actually really bad. I wish, I wish, like, I could just go on a farm somewhere and I remember, like, when I was, like... Yeah, so I, I actually didn't have a phone until I actually went to sixth form. Right. Because I wasn't, like, a kid that liked to play out. So, like, my mum knew where I was all the time because I was right. in the house. <laughs> like, and I didn't like playing out with my friends. Like, I just... That wasn't me. Yeah. And I was quite shy. I didn't really have that right. many friends. So I liked being indoors. So I didn't have a phone until I went to sixth form and I got a boyfriend. And then he was the only person I used to text. Oh, right. Um, but, like, I remember, like, when I was in year seven, like... Because we didn't have, like, a computer either in, like, mm. the home. So if I went to visit my nan, she had a computer, so I'd go on Facebook or MSN. Mm. And then, like, then I got all of them. Yeah. And that's when. But then even then I wasn't checking it, like, every day. I know. Like, I literally, I wake up, my phone's on the floor on charge, I'll pull it out of the, out the plug, right? Mm. I'll roll over and I'll lie scrolling for about half an hour. Yeah. And then, like, I'll... Like for uni <laughs> or something. Like, I need to get up. Yeah, it's funny, I remember. Like, I wish I could just get out of bed and not go on my phone. Like, I don't know why I do it. I can't remember much of a time without it, but I know Same. there was. It's a quite time. sad. Um, similar to you, when I was in secondary school, um, I only really got a phone. Um, I think it was like year 10. Mm. Or like, and then it wasn't even like a proper phone. I think it was like a Walkman or something. Oh my god! Um, blasting I had, and blasting. I had like, I think actually, I think I had um, a little flip phone. Oh, the Motorola. Yeah, yeah. And I just remember like, oh yeah, that was my first ever phone, and it was pink, right? Yeah. And obviously. I remember I charged about three times, and then it died. I should never charge it again and put it in the drawer, because I just wasn't that <laughs> kid that was interested, ever. In that yeah. sort of stuff. Like, I remember even in year six, people had phones. Mm. And I'd be like, wow, that's cool. But I didn't want one. Yeah. Because I just didn't... I wasn't bothered. But now, it's like, I can't even go anywhere without it. Like, yeah. I think I went... I can't even go to the gym without it because I rely on it for music. Mm. Like, it's ridiculous. I think I went out the other day and I forgot it because mm. I just took my coat and I felt lost. Yeah. That's... Even that's though I've got no one texting me. You know, I know, but sad you still, it's a fear of someone texting <laughs> yeah. you. And then you miss Fear it. of missing out. FOMO. FOMO. Love a bit of FOMO. Um, but yeah, I remember um, the days of literally contacting my friend and she'd ring the house. Yeah. She'd be like, is Charlie there? And my mum and dad would be like, yeah, one minute. Yeah. Charlie, don't be yeah. on the phone too long. You speak for like 10 minutes and then that's it. You and see like, each other the next day at school. The day when social media was like, you know, allowed to go on the computer for like half an hour at night. Yeah. And been like on MSN or do you remember? Do you remember Bebo? Oh no, I didn't have that, but I know what it is. Yeah, well, I had Bebo before Facebook because I didn't want Facebook. Um, and like, oh my god, it was so tacky, it was so bad, and it was full of catfishes. Um, but I remember being on Bebo with my friends, like putting Tinder. In my top friends. Oh god, <laughs> like PG Tinder, loads of catfishes. Yeah. Well, it wasn't that PG. Um, oh really? Oh god, the horror stories of like I remember being on Bebo and almost getting groomed. No. Um, this guy who pretended to be my age was talking <gasps> to me. Um, and he was like, oh, I don't live that far from you. Wow. Um, 
And then, like, he asked for my number, and I was a stupid kid then, so I gave it. Yeah. When I had, like, a... Sh- don't think a, anyone's a been horrible. Mobile. Yeah, like, like, messaging and stuff. And then, like, him wanting to Skype with me. Oh, wow. And, like, we, om- we, like, almost met up, and I remember no. almost going to the location. But when we Skyped, he didn't look at all. Anything. Oh, my God. He was, like, God. a 30-year-old man. And I remember that's them, dangerous. I know. Oh my god! I remember being a kid and being like, "Oh my god!" Like this Thanks isn't right. Yeah. One of my friends at the time knew. She's like, "Oh, your boyfriend and stuff." And then when she saw his picture, she's like, "Yeah." She's like, "That's not no, right. no, no." And I had somebody be like, "That's dangerous." Like, yeah. You can't do this. 100%. And she sort of stopped me, and you know, it became a joke for a while. But like, oh god! But it's so easy to do that. To be fair, this sounds really mean, but one of my old childhood friends, a guy who, um me and my friend wanted to mess with, we made a fake Bieber profile oh. of a girl. Oh, my God. Charlie, you absolutely ruthless <laughs> person. Um, and we... Um, I remember her name was Catherine something. Mm. Um, and we had, like, an MSN for her. And if you remember in the olden days, you could have, like, the old-fashioned MSN on your laptop, on your computer or whatever. And then there was, like, a new version. And there was, like, a glitch where you could have the old version and the new version on at the same time. Oh, my God. So I'd be on my new MSN. Yeah. And she'd be on the old MSN. <gasps> and we'd, and honestly, it was ruthless. We told him after, like, a few months. Yeah. But he was, like, loving her and, like, flirting with her and oh, stuff. Oh, that's like, so sad. I could cry for him. That's really sad. Oh, he deserved it. He was a, he was a tool. <laughs> a tool. <laughs> I think that's allowed. <laughs> we can say tool. We can say tool. Um... But yeah, and we still we still laugh about it now. But like, it's so easy. Well, it was then, and I feel like it kind of is now. You could. Oh my god, I remember, anyone. like not even catfishing as well, but like the inappropriate things. Oh god. That you can like. I remember. I don't think I'd had Instagram for very long because it's not really that old, is it? I think it's like. 2012 something like yeah it's not like you know like oh my god it was around in the 2000s yeah, um, it's the first 10 years of it so it's yeah new. um i remember like being like what 14 15 mm. and i got a, a penis pic from <laughs> some random account and this was at the time you know when you could like now you can decline or block yeah. people that don't follow you and you don't follow them their this messages the it it. And it sent and it went straight to my inbox and i was like what God. I didn't even know what things like that were. <laughs> like, I was very, so you know, like, what's that? And I remember being so shocked. I and, like, imagine. oh, my God, right? At the moment, I was literally talking to my work colleague about this yesterday. I keep getting tagged on Instagram in, you know, people's Snapchat code things. Oh, yeah. And you can add someone from their code. Yeah. I keep getting tagged in those. And the pages with the icon that they come from are, like, naughty pics oh wow and I, I have blocked about what 10 11 accounts oh my god and like i'm getting one a day and I, how are people tagging me in it when i'm on private i don't i don't know that's really weird isn't that strange and i'm like i don't it makes me uncomfortable because i'm like why am i being tagged in this or like i'll, I'll keep getting added to like these groups like everyone with the name Shannon, or like, Ooh. oh, I just want to make friends. I'm like, what the hell is this? It's like freaking me out. I'm 22, and I'm like, what is going on with yeah. this? Like, it's freaking me out. Like, I'm blocking all of these things because I know that they could be mm. weird and dangerous potentially. Well, yeah, I mean, that's really weird, especially if you're on um, private. I, I wonder if they're like, oh, this person's on private, we want to get to them. So we'll tag them yeah, in this thing. Yeah, but it's so weird. Like, one that's a day. So one a day. It's, that's, that's creepy. But it's getting to the point now where I'm getting more irritated. Mm. That when I go on, I'm like, oh, tagged in another one. Great. It's weird. It's not the notification you want no. on your phone. No. Oh, I've been tagged in some randoms. Weird, like, raunchy, Snapchat. Sexcapade. <laughs> Sexcapade. <laughs> Instagram account. In the, you know, the weirdness on Instagram. Um, but, yeah, it's freaking me out. Yeah. God, I mean... Thank God for the block button, hey? I know, God, yeah. I mean, I've had weird messages on Instagram, or at least I did, but all my weird message requests come from Facebook, where it's like, this person sent you, and you know you have to accept it. Oh, yeah, if you're not friends. And I've had, like, the most random people just, like, oh, you look nice, and, like... Thanks. like, (laughs) creepy messages. Even if it's a picture of me and Brad... They, like, sent a weird message. Yeah. And I'm just like... 
Oh. Which one are you talking to? <laughs> Not, I know he's great, isn't he? I know he's amazing, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, hopefully that'll die down. But I know um, a lot of social media sites make you verify your account now with a number. Yeah. Um, so at least it's been, there's a more like protective aspect to it. Yeah, but it's still just like... Oh, I don't know. Too many people have got access to social media. Yeah. So now the it's wrong like the people. creeps are coming out. The wrong people. Everyone's like, coming out the woodwork. They're coming out from the corners and like the basements and they're coming with a vengeance. Yeah, sending weird Snapchat raunchy pics. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know. Have you ever been sent, <laughs> when you had Snapchat, did you ever get sent an inappropriate picture or message from someone in your friend list? No, I don't think so. I had a few and it led to me deleting. Like... One person who I classed as a friend, when I was in a relationship, and I knew they had been in a relationship yeah. for 10 years, I think, and mm. like, I've got on with them, he sent me very inappropriate messages through. Oh, no. And I deleted and blocked him on Snapchat after I that. think people like it on Snapchat, though, because if you don't save the message, yeah. it's gone. It's gone, and then, like, oh... Like, I didn't send that. What are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? I didn't oh, do but that. But on Instagram now, you can unsend messages. Does it say that they've unsent the message? Yeah, so right. you can, like... Because I had it happen recently. Um, someone sent me a message and then unsent it. But if you follow the notification on your phone, you can see whose profile it is that right. sent you then and then unsent. Ooh. Mm. It's interesting. It's like trying to cover your tracks, but it doesn't completely say, work. Well, you know who the sort of people would do it, you know, like the creepy messages to... You know, mm. a girl, even when they have, like, a girlfriend or something. That's usually the yeah. suspects. Mm. So, so peculiar. I going to say Instagram's shaking the world. Yeah. So it's, it's trying to make it more private, but by doing it, you look a bit weird. I was going to say, if somebody sent me a message then you, and then deleted it, you I'd be like, oh, like, what is it? Like, what were you going to say? Is it inappropriate? Are you asking something that's a bit... Personal. Personal, a bit dodgy. Well, I yeah. probably... Um, weird. When I had um, Snapchat where, similar to that actually, where somebody sent me a message, and then you could delete it from Snapchat as well, but it's a message deleted and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I've been like, oh, you know, what's wrong? And in some cases it's somebody like, oh, something bad's happened, but I don't know how to talk about it. Yeah. Which I think, you know, I guess it's good for that aspect, but gives the creeps more leeway. Yeah, there's so many, like, positives and negatives, really. Well, it's like with everything, though, isn't mm. it? You could say that about, like you know, the old-fashioned, like, writing, dating sort of thing, or, mm-hmm. like, you know, an advertisement in a magazine, you're still going to get, like, the different people of society. But, you know, I guess you have to look at it with, like, a positive outlook and the fun side. Yeah, and just not, like, hone in and, like, be like, oh, my life is wrong because yeah. of this filtered thing I'm seeing on social yeah. media. I think that's the lesson we can learn today. Do not take Instagram seriously really yeah. like take it with the biggest pinch of salt you possibly can and know that they're probably they have been at home crying at some point exactly like and they're having a bad day potentially like with instagram i've known people well similar to you said like about that celebrity who takes so many pictures like mm-hmm. hundreds and hundreds yeah and then picks one and um, i've known people to take like 50 pictures and then upload one to like be like oh i'm doing so much better now and like mm-hmm. you know i'm so good in my life but it's like yeah it's a facade but as that well took really you so long yeah, yeah but i guess everybody has a like public persona oh 100 percent. i would never post a picture of me crying no i never like to be fair, I'd never post imagine if like before the law exams last week and oh, i posted my meltdown i had the day before crying or, to my mom take a pic quick afterwards quit. god if you take in the picture afterwards like stressed from an exam just like, look at these eye bags. <laughs> yeah. Nobody, nobody wants to see that, you know. And well, you don't want the world yeah. to see that. Brings brings the tone down. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Instagram's supposed to be happy. You don't want to see people, like, having a meltdown. Unless that's, you know, what they're known for. But... Yeah, just having, like, public breakdowns. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you know um, Trisha Paytas? Um, oh, I've heard of her. She's a YouTuber and, like, um, music star and stuff. And, yeah. Like, She's notorious for her breakdowns on her kitchen floor. Oh, my um, God, what? Like, on YouTube, she just films herself having a breakdown. But yeah. it's, like, her form of, like, mental health. It's how she, like, adjusts them. And afterwards, she's fine. And, like, 
I feel like that's so popular because people can relate. Yeah, hundred percent. Everybody has a breakdown at some point on the floor. Like, oh, oh I've no! Done it. Like, <laughs> you're stressing over something, or like you've let all this weight come on you, or even if you're not, and you're just having a, like a really bad Rather day. Rather than dying. And you just yeah. sat on the floor crying, you're like, oh my god, I hate my life. Oh, I'm on my period, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> everything's rubbish, everything's bad. <laughs> but I think, that, I think it's healthy. I'm not the biggest Trisha Paytas fan, but I feel like. I've heard of like her that. name, but I don't, I don't know her face. She's, she's blonde and she's very voluptuous. Voluptuous, that's very a nice voluptuous. word. Yeah. That's a nice word. She's, she's very like curvy girls empowerment. Oh, okay. But, you know, she's not the sort of person who's like... She's normal. She's normal, yeah. I like that. You know, she's very real and honest and, you know, she's like... She works hard for what she does. So, I'm, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of her, but I do appreciate what she does. And, like, yeah. The message Keeping it real. Out. Yeah, she keeps it very real and she's so honest, like... Being a girl in real life. She's hey. A, hey. <laughs> get her on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Next episode, special guest. <laughs> special YouTube sen- like sensation. <laughs> yeah, and right, I we could get someone on, on the podcast. I know, that'd be amazing. <laughs> She's real and humble, you never know. <laughs> she might reply on Twitter. <laughs> like, can we just ask, will you uh will you cheeky favour? <laughs> you know, there's a favour for me. <laughs> like, we won't talk, you can just talk. Yeah. <laughs> We'll sit here and listen to we'll you. We'll listen to you, like, honestly. But, yeah, I think... I don't I don't really know what else to say about social media. My favourite one is YouTube. Oh, I love YouTube. But I don't really see that as a social media platform. I just see it as a platform to watch videos on. Like, I don't comment on stuff and I don't, like... I don't really like... chats. I just, like, watch videos. Well, my own selected videos. And yeah. Like, um, I guess, it, for me, it'd be YouTube... Then, I guess, LinkedIn. Mm. Then Twitter, because of uni stuff. Yeah. Then Instagram. Then Tumblr. Whatever. Yeah. Every other dreb of social media. Yeah. Then Never Facebook. Classes. Then Facebook dug underground. Um, <laughs> in buried, a hole. <laughs> buried in a concrete Six coffin. Foot. <laughs> um, what would be your ranking for social media? Because you, you like <sighs> Instagram. It's so. hard because... Oh, I like it, but I don't actually like it. I don't. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't like yeah. it. I think that, like I wish I it. didn't have it. I really do, because I, I feel like sometimes like I can't even go out on a night out and not feel like I need to post something. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Like I know, like say like me, my sister, and her friend, like we go to Birmingham yeah. quite a lot, and like. It is the ritual where we get ready and everyone has a picture. Yeah. We have a group pick. Yeah. Or we'll find someone to get a pic. Mm. And someone will post it. And I really wish it wasn't like that. Uh, there's a girl who I'm friends with. We're, like, in a couple friendship where, like, we go out with her and her boyfriend and, like, me and Brad and then, like, other couples. She's the sort of person. She has Instagram, like, Facebook and everything else. I have to mute her and I have to... Like, oh god! I have to make sure that I can see what I'm being tagged in because she takes so, so, so many pictures. Yeah. But they're the worst candid pictures. You'll be sat well, there. you've got like six chins. You'll be sat there just talking or like having a drink or something. Or, food like, coming out your mouth just or something. Sat there <laughs> and she's like snipping around the room. Yeah. She's never in the pictures, mm. but she's always taking pictures of everyone else. Yeah. And Brad's like, oh, did you see she tagged in like 50 no. things? I'm like, untag. I'm like, report. I do not want this. Yeah. So I just, I can't do that. But I get it. People want to savour the moment. But, you know, that's what memories are for. Mm. You know? Quote Charlie Vogel saying. <laughs> that's what memories are for. That's what memories are for. <laughs> it's inspirational. Literally. Ah! <laughs> but, yeah, so Instagram. I'm, I'm going to put it at the bottom. Not, for my fa- list. not Facebook. Mm, can I put them all together? Yeah, you can clump them. All of them. The <laughs> all of them. All Down of them. there. <laughs> right at the bottom. Pinterest, maybe. <laughs> yeah, or... Pinterest at the top on its own. But I don't then, class that as social we'll media. Put that as, and we'll put TikTok up there just oh, no. because of my uh, current yeah. obsession. It will die down in about a week. Oh, God. Because I'll get sick of it because it's just the same stuff over and over again. And then everything else is just like, you know, like down here in the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> Buried with my Facebook. Yeah. Literally. can cover it up that yeah. can be like the layer literally well 
that was our view on oh. social media. Um, Even thinking about social media, like, wears me out. You know what's funny is, when we finish... We're probably gonna like. I'm gonna go check, and check Instagram, check Twitter or something. Yeah. But you know, hopefully. <laughs> I will be posting later when this yeah. goes up because this is real. Yeah, Twitter. because this is real time. So later, I will be posting on yes. Instagram on the, on the Instagram for the girls in real life, being like the podcast is up because <laughs> I can't not because I've got to get it out there. Yeah, we've got to do that. You know, shameless self promo, but love a plug. So we will probably use in social media to post these all over the place, despite our negative. Yeah, thoughts. <laughs> thoughts. Hopefully, you have similar or you know contradicting thoughts. You know, if you do, message us on Twitter or Instagram. Or yeah, we hope this has given food for thought on the old. Yeah, 